Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you on Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 2020. And it is 32, oh, it's actually got up to 34 degrees here. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Just uh, a few days ago, I was out here wearing practically nothing, a very thin shirt. That's what happens here in the winter. It waxes warm, it waxes cold. We're in Alabama, uh, just south of the Tennessee border. Depends which way the wind's blowing, my friends. Uh, last night I got down to the 20s. So what am I talking about today? Wild winter greens. So eating wild winter wonders. Now I've done videos on separate things. I'm just going to touch on this real quickly. It's just to give you an idea that in many parts of this country you can eat off the land and do it all year long. Now I'm going to give you a little warning, a little uh, disclaimer here. And that disclaimer is as follows. There are a lot of good things to eat that grow wild. They're good and tasty. But there's also a lot of things that are good for you. There's also a lot of things that can harm you, make you sick, potentially kill you. So always check with a local expert if you don't know the plant you're eating before you eat it. If you don't absolutely know what you're eating, don't eat it. I had a friend out here that thought she knew exactly what she'd done. Uh, she was picking some things. I said, hey, what are you picking there? Why are you picking that? She says, because I want some plantain to make a poultice. I said, that's not plantain. That's curly dock. <laughs> She thought she knew what she was picking. So make sure you know, my friend. Make sure you know. Okay, now here. I'm going to show you some stuff real fast right here in my garden. On Valentine's Day, we're in the middle of the winter. You see that? That is purple dead nettle. I've done a video on purple dead nettle. That is definitely edible. And just to show you. Blow the spiders out. All right. And out here also, there's many other things that are growing. They're edible. Got three greens I'm going to show you today. Purple dead nettle, curly dock. That's a big one. There's some smaller ones out here. The smaller ones will be better. You have to boil the leaves a lot. There is a huge root, tap root under there. Uh, if you want to eat the tap root, I would go for the smaller ones. And you probably need to boil the dickens out of it. And let's see if I'm not right in the shadow here. This, my friends, is chickweed. Now, I know I've shown you chickweed and purple dead nettle in previous videos. I want to show it to you all together in curly dock. But it's all out here together. That's why I'm doing this right now, my friends. It's all out here together. This is it's high, a little bit high in oxalic acid. So you don't need a gobs of it. But you do need some greens in the wintertime. Again, these uh, curly dock has roots that uh, tend to be uh, extremely bitter. You probably have to boil the devil out of it to eat it. But these smaller plants like that, you could eat. Uh, still, you'd boil it. <laughs> it's always like that. So you can see, I got plenty of purple dead nettle. I got lots and lots and lots of this uh, chickweed amongst my garlic. Now there's the garlic I planted earlier, really growing. Here's a lot of the curly dock. Plenty of curly dock out here. Now look at the purple. I'm at the uh, chickweed. Huge, vast bed of chickweed here. I mean, I could really eat well off this chickweed, but I wouldn't eat too much of it at one time. And then I have shown you how you can eat the inner bark of pine trees in previous videos. And also I mentioned that the pine leaves, needles themselves, are richer in vitamin C, which is something you really need this time of the year, richer in vitamin C than orange juice. Much richer. Now the key to the pine needles is as follows. Don't boil them. If you want to make a tea, boil your water, then put the pine needles in it and let them steep. Here again is more purple dead nettle. Why it's called dead nettle? Because nettle has needles on it. That don't. <laughs> it's a little bit furry though, but no needles. So there's plenty to grow in out here. More purple dead nettle. In the middle of winter that you can eat and survive on. Plenty that you can capitalize on to, to survive, thrive, and stay out of the hive. Look at all that curly dock, lots of it. It's really wet out here. We've had tons of rain, tons and tons and tons of rain. But look at all these pine trees. Look, think about all the bark up in those trees. All the, uh, it's the cambium layer that you want to go for, the cambium. It's the little bit of living tissue within and I cut one of those trees up right over there with my bolo knife back last winter and showed you how to do that. So that's definitely something you can do. And you can also eat the roots in the same fashion off the pine trees. 
So there's plenty, plenty here to eat. Again, now there are places where there are some pines I hear that's toxic. They ain't around here. It's a southern pine. You can chew the needles and get the juice straight out of them. But you gotta spit out the fiber. That fiber is not digestible. But that juice is rich in vitamin C. And while we're in a period where there's flus and other viruses running around that I shall not want to name today, that is really good for you. You need all the vitamin C and D3 you can get. Nice sunny day today. Now it's cold. Maybe I'd do well to kind of expose some skin out here in the sun today. You need all the vitamin, three, uh, vitamin D3, all the vitamin D you can get for your health. So my friends, that's it. There's always something growing on. There's lots to eat, and if, and if you're in a country where you're covered with snow and you know how wild greens growing, I bet you still got greens in the sky, in the trees. So if you can eat from the trees, my friend, you can survive anywhere. And I've shown you how to do that. The other key thing is, you've got to be able to provide water. You've got to be able to, and that's the most important thing, you can survive probably 30 days without food, but you can only survive three days without water. And that's if you're not sweating hard in a desert. There, you might not survive a day without water. And that's where it's the least supply, right? So you gotta know how to treat water. You have to purify it, get all the sediments and junk out of it, and sanitize it, which is to kill all the living bacteria. Greg, I got filters, I can get the bacteria. Yeah, those filters aren't effective against viruses. And there's some viruses going around today that you might have heard about that you definitely want to get out of your water. So I've done a video sitting right out here, which I built a fire to show you how to sanitize your water. I've shown you how to purify with just plastic bottles. How to get the stuff out. Plastic bottles, leaves, gravels, and sand, or whatever you can find like that. Just whatever is conveniently available. Look here, here's some more curly dock growing out here. See, it's everywhere. I got this stuff. Just bear in mind that you can survive, thrive, and stay of the hive anywhere. Anywhere. You can live in the wilderness. You can learn how to stealth move around, stealth camp, and stealth hunt. I'm showing you videos on that. So my friends, I'm going to do more videos on these topics, more survival videos. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, click the update notification bell, and please support my channel. I sell worms, you can click links below. And also, right now, you really need to get prepping supplies. That should be your main focus. Because we may be getting a quarantine and other things may be happening to us in the near future. Uh, prices of food are going to shoot up. Hello, I've got a special new arrangement with my Patreon supply to bring you some great savings. All you have to do is go with prepwithgreg.com. Quite literally, just prep, the word prep, prepwithgreg.com, prepwithgreg.com. And you get to this side here. As you can see my picture here, and uh, believe it or not, the leaves behind me are, are not a forest, that is okra. <laughs> prepwithgreg.com is a special deal with my patron supply that we've established where we'll be offering great sales to you. And right now for the uh, next foreseeable future, this includes four week emergency food supply and a two week emergency food supply. Ladies and gentlemen, this is food that can last up to 25 years. This is long term, good food. You can see 2000 calories per day, 252 servings here in a four week. You can see 92 servings over here on the two week. You can look through here and see what you get, but check this out, $100 off the four week. That's almost $70 off the two week. These are great, fantastic deals. So if you're trying to prep right now for the things that's going around, this is a good time to get it. Get it while you can. Look what you get. Nice, good, nutritious food. A lot of stuff to eat. Uh, be ready for the disasters as they come at you. We do have problems with the food uh, supply chain this year with uh, late season plantings due to rain, early season uh, frost, and much more. If the power grid goes down, Hey, that's something I talk about. This is have you set. Store shelves, look, we got stuff going around coming out of you know where, the uh, C uh, V I R <clears throat> US. Definitely, you need to consider prepping now. You need to consider the long term food supplies. But that's not all that you can get on here. Look here, great deals, great deals. But it's better than that. If you want to uh, go looking for emergency food, just click there. 
Here's a whole uh, list of things you can get. Long-term food stores. Check this out. Yeah, really scrumptious looking meals. Oh, yeah, so some of the stuff's selling out here. Look at this, but you still can get the one-year emergency food supply for $2,987. Now, you get $2.78 roughly per meal. That's a dang good deal, especially for something that you can have sitting on a shelf for up to 25 years. And it comes in easy to carry buckets. You can carry it with you if you've got to go on a run. Throw it in your car, throw it in your vehicle. See, and these buckets are, are good too for other long-term storage purposes. This is great. Uh, I tell you, you need water filtration. So you can check out many forms of water filtration. So if you're out on the go, call the Survival Spring water filter. You can see the bigger filters, Alexa Pure. Look at this. Great stuff. Lots of filters, lots of things, lots of food, survival items, survival gear, lighting, a little a portable power packs, books, deals of the day. There's always some special. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is an excellent opportunity for you to support my channel and support yourself by clicking my links. Go to preparewithgreg.com. Uh, if you want something green, fresh, grown in your house, check uh, True Leaf Market. If you want uh, heirloom seeds, go to True Leaf Market. Best place to go for growing uh, microgreens and for heirloom seed supplies. All the links are below. Look here in my yard. I've got purple dead nettle, these little wild onions. Some people call them wild garlic, but uh, little curly dock everywhere. Friends, that's a buffet. You can eat. You can eat in the winter. You can eat all year round. There's always something growing on that you can eat if you know how to eat in the wilds. And today is the 15th of February, 2020. Here I am just south of Atlanta in the city. There's edible clover, dandelion greens. Look at that. Onion. Ah, that's a mint. It looks like probably purple dead and edible. That's definitely in the mint family. Probably purple dead metal, just haven't started blooming yet. Look here. Ah, very nutritious right here. See that? Dandelion. You need all parts of the dandelion. I've been sitting around my place, but for here. Look here, we got chickweed. Chickweed, lots of chickweed. Right here, near a waffle house, the McDonald's. You can eat. In the city, in the wild winter greens. <laughs> so once again, to stay up with all my videos about how you can survive, thrive, and stay alive, eating wild winter greens in the woods or in the city, here, whole buffet next to the restaurant. You ain't got to go in the restaurant and eat. <laughs> hey, look at the pines, my friends. <laughs> Be sure to uh, bang the update notification bell to my channel. Click all. See all my videos and please click the links below to support my channel and thank you for watching.